Well, welcome back to Australia. I want to ask, how is your ankle after the Olympics? Yeah, it was definitely a bit sore after the last game. Got a few stud marks through it, but um, to be fair, it's been uh, an awesome recovery. Um, obviously, very tough le leading into the Olympics. I uh, did a lot of training on my own and stuff like that, but um, yeah, the Olympics was awesome. Uh, so nice to, to get back there and um, you know to represent Australia. But now to, to be back with West Ham, uh, ankles feeling good. Nice to be over here and yeah. can't wait. Just on the Olympics, though, you played almost every single minute at the Women's World Cup. What was it like playing a little bit more limited minutes at, at, at the Olympics? Yeah, it was uh, definitely frustrating. I think if anyone knows me as a player, I just want to play more. Um, I could understand that, obviously, coming back from an injury, you're probably not going to get 90 minutes out of me straight away. Um, but yeah, I, I tried to play as big a part as I could, um, obviously. Disappointing we couldn't get out of the group stage, but um, yeah, for me it was a proud moment to get back and also to, to have my family alongside me as well. Yeah, that would have been so nice to, to have that. All right, let's go back to, to West Ham. This is your first pre-season uh, with the Hammers, given that you joined in January. What do you expect to get out of this pre-season? Um, I mean, for us, I think it's about, you know, building a good team culture, understanding the game plan. Um, you know, pl playing as many games as you can so you understand the players around you. Um, we've got great opponents here to, you know, you know, see what we can be better at, uh, see what we're doing well. And um, I think for us to be in Australia is, is even special. Yeah, it is really cool. And you've had some hectic few months with the, a new addition yeah. to the family. How's that all going? Um, yeah, it's going really good. He's a, he's a little chiller. Um, Harper's been such a good big sister and with all the travel and stuff it's definitely been hectic but um, yeah just so nice to always have them around and for them to be so supportive Clara's been amazing through it all so it's been hectic but it's been amazing as well. And after your first season was cut short what are the expectations going into this season? I mean for me I just can't wait to to get started to get back out on the pitch with the girls I think yeah, it definitely got cut short and I feel like I was just kind of finding my feet in the team. Um, but I think it gave me a chance to sit back and observe the team. And, you know, I, I'm just so proud to be a part of this team. There's so many, you know, special players, special people. Um, and I can't wait to see what we can do this season because it's definitely a special bunch. Now, it all starts on Thursday when you play against PSG. What are you expecting from them? Because West Ham normally don't get to play opponents in, in the rest of Europe, right? No, it's it's going to be exciting, obviously. You know, you watch most of the game in Champions League, you see them play, uh, they're going to be a, a tough opposition, but I think, you know, we love a challenge, so I think we're, we're excited for the challenge. We're excited to play, you know, someone different, someone outside of uh, the UK, and, um, yeah, I think everyone's just excited to be here, excited to, to get out on the pitch and to see all the Australian fa fans and the West Ham fans, and, um, yeah can't wait. On a personal level and as well for the team, what are you all expecting to get out of being able to play such a strong team in Europe? Um, I think, you know, you, you get to challenge yourself against some of the best players in the world. I think that's um, the best thing about it. Different formation, different players. Um, you know, a lot of the girls have grown up in this league. They know, you know, every team in and out with who they play against. So it's always nice to, you know, play against someone new, play uh, you know, they find different challenges, um, they challenge you in different ways and I think for us, I think that's going to be the best thing about Thursday night's game. We can get as much out of it, find out, you, you know, new strength of ours, um, maybe weaknesses as well, but something to grow on and, and develop and bring into the season ahead. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a really good test. Now, the last time you spoke to Optus Sport, you hinted that the Olympics was perhaps your last hurrah. How are you feeling about your future at the moment? No, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just loving my football. I, you know, I want to play as long as I can. I think uh, being a part of the national team at the moment is, um, yeah, it's, you know, we've had such a huge impact in, in, in Australian football and I think to, to play a small part in that for as long as I can is something that I want to do. Um, and, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens over the, the next um, couple of years and, and months, but I think having the Asian Cup here is, um, you know, something we're all looking forward to as players. So if I can, you know, push myself to that, um, yeah, that will definitely be another tournament. Well, that would be great. Now, there is a search for a new coach. Who would be, not necessarily a name, but what qualities would be ideal f for that? Gosh, I have no idea. I don't know how coaches coach, to be honest. <laughs> taking care of two kids is enough, let alone taking care of 20. But, 
yeah, I don't know. I, I'm sure, you know, they're doing a lot of, um, yeah, I, I have no idea. I couldn't pick, tell you who I'd pick or um, I think, you know, we just need someone that's all about the Aussie spirit that kind of understands, you know, our culture, where we come from, uh, you know, what we play for, what the, the national team stands for and, you know, where we've come from. So I think that will probably be the main things that they're looking for and, yeah, I'm sure whoever they pick will do a great job. And have you been able to see much of Perth while you've been here or not really? I haven't. I've only really been over here for football. So, you know, you see the hotel, the football fields. Yeah. Um, I'd, lo I'd love to head to the beach and stuff like that. I'm a bit scared of the sharks, but anyway, yeah, I'm sure. There are um, a lot of sharks in the water around. Yeah, I'll, uh, we'll do a bit of exploring, so yeah. I'll get back to you on that. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.